guys so here we are lesson number five, five. okay so this is lesson number five now it's gonna be kind of you're gonna feel easier you know why because you already have been doing all the lessons before you know <laughs> so that's gonna make it a lot of easier so we're gonna be doing now with you guys the kind of the same idea that we just did from the viradinha but actually now we're gonna create from the lateral mm -hmm. yeah and then we're gonna add some of the body roll at the end okay yes. so it's gonna be very simple we're gonna read like already did with you guys the s so we're just gonna change now the position of the hands and creating there with the body roll, body roll. yeah let's do this let's roll let's roll, let's roll. <laughs> We're gonna be doing lateral, yeah? So from the lateral, we're gonna start. And one, two, two end. end. Now in this position, the end is that's where we're gonna create in that elevation, the suspension. So if you see my hand is pretty much in the line of the belly here, it's gonna create that elevation, the line of the chest, yeah? And then I bring my hand up as well. Make sure we create the breathing. I will brief you when you create this elevation, the preparation. So all the time we prep, you always want to create like the inhale. That is the preparation. Yeah. That inhale doesn't need to come from something like this. <laughs> it's like a diaphragmatic uh, breathing. So you want to use your diaphragm because when you use your diaphragm, you then set up your muscles in a way that that connection will transfer to your partner. Because you're just doing this, it's not going to transfer any connection, just going to be blowing air in her face. And that's not nice. Yeah. So you want to make sure in that position, we're going to create that end movement. End. So that end and look, rotation. Rotation. Now for the ladies, again, we have been talking about this in the last classes. Every time the guys lift your hand, this doesn't mean you are lifting your arms. It's for you to uh, connect this to your legs. So this preparation he's giving to you is not for you disengage your upper body and then you do that. It's actually for you maintain it neutral and then this reflects on your legs, okay? Mm -hmm. We need to create like a little resistance in our, a little extra. So for example, let's say numbers, okay? So if we go to zero to 10, we want to dance to number five because that is easier. And then what happened when I'm going to do that preparation, maybe increase to number seven just to give a little bit more resistance so then we can connect better, okay? So the movement is gonna look so here, look, we're gonna be doing, let me do once first, change the angle here. So we do, and, and one, one, two, two and three. three. So if you see guys, it's and boom. When we do like this idea of extend, and bend the knee, don't use your quads. What is your quads? The muscles on the front of your thigh. Make sure you wanna use the hamstring, that the muscles on the back of your thigh, because they are the muscles that flex, yeah? So when you do the movement and I bend my knee, you don't wanna use the quads, because that's gonna make the movement floppy, soft. So you wanna make sure the movement when I bend it's is engaged. nice and engaged. So you wanna make sure the muscles that are working there is their hamstring. So if you focus about your hamstring to bring you into that position, it's gonna make your movement looks a lot of more solid and makes your movement looks a lot of more uh, secure for like Consistent, the follower as yeah. well. Okay? This energy is gonna pass to the fall to the follower, so it's gonna be the movement gonna be more solid. Now for the ladies, just remember every time we're doing this big S. We always gonna aim to, yeah, not the, this S, the S of the movement. We always gonna aim to have that pivot, the movement is happening with the leg that has the weight. So in this case, if we are going this direction, my preparation, I have more weight in my left leg. This left leg, this left foot is the one that's gonna help me to do that S, okay? The other leg, you just make sure the movement, your leg is nice and straight, keeping the connection with the floor with your big toe. Yeah. Same thing, like, same, uh, same like thing. she's just repeating what we did from the previous lesson. So any question, anything, make sure you guys just yes. come back there, okay? So from here, we're doing from the, starting the lateral. Lateral. From this side. And one, one two, two, and three, three four, four and. and. Now in this position, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing the body roll. 
and going back into the lunge. Okay, so we're gonna be doing the movement. And one, one two, two, and three, three four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three. three. Now, again, start if you feel like a harder to go all the way through just do 90 degrees okay not a problem at all so what is important to remember that is like when we do like a front of body roll we're gonna make sure from here we need to wait for the follower to pass when she pass then i can go okay so now for the lead when we're gonna start the remember the body roll when we start the movement we start from the contraction so when we finish like to do the movement here the s don't. The intention now here, look, we want to bring the hands that come a little bit close together inside and we do this contraction. Be careful we don't drop. Contract using more just your abs. So it's like the pelvis coming more up towards the ceiling. And then we go, look, a half a moon going out. Maintain. Go out, look, and then we just a normal one. Yeah. Once you get it, usually comfortable with this one. Then you add the second one going around. Okay? Yeah. So, I'm gonna be doing it if you guys are ready with the music. So, just gonna show you guys once more with a different angle, and then we're gonna move on. So, we do. And, and one, two, two and, and three, three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, and five. What we just did <laughs> right now, same, same, but different than we did in the previous lesson. Yes. Yeah. The difference is the body position. So you're going to feel a little bit different because more connection and more contact to have the body, easier it gets. Yeah. But like the hand, remember, it's still everything built through the footwork. Yeah. So yes. the energy that we build, create, is created through your legs, coming through your abs and everything, and releasing to the hands. Okay, so make sure when you do the movement, play around, take your time, okay? Do ones, do two, you can play on the body roll and everything. The S you can do nice and slow, you don't need to do fast, don't need to do too low, try to maintain the level, okay? And remember, the body roll is a body roll, we are not doing anything with the head. So when we are here in the S, make sure this con the little contraction go is gonna start when you're when your leg is gonna be more in the X point. So then you're gonna do the movement and sit. Make sure every time you finish the body roll, your upper body is straight. We are not stopping like this, okay? We finish and we sit, for then we come back to the next movement, okay? Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and I see you on the next one.